Hello. From time to time, besides sermonating with music, I'll be sermonating with word. Lord Jesus Christ be with me. This brief little three minute sermon is entitled The Bank of God. How many of us deem success as financial fitness? I've been seeking means to accommodate my monetary growth for 40 years, it seems. I put my money in the bank, I take it out, save it, spend it. Every now and then I accumulate more than a little, but along comes a problem, and I have to withdraw all I have to meet my needs. This struggle is never ending, and at times seems hopeless. Recently I was called into the service of God by His grace, I became spiritually aware of my ability to understand another kind of savings account, one that gives me an eternal reward. To lay up treasures in heaven is most like a savings account that never dwindles away. We are all in need of security for our lives and think if we have enough money to cover everything we want or need, we can pay all our bills on time and give gifts to our loved ones or to help them somehow, we have become totally safe from harm's way. Totally successful, everything we want. We could not be more wrong. To seek security in this lifetime is futile. We are all going on from this flesh, which houses our spirit and the will of God. And it is imperative to have an account in heaven when we need to call upon our spiritual savings. This begins by accepting our Savior's testimony by his blood he shed for us on the cross on Calvary's hill. He washed away our sins with his blood. The unblemished lamb, the good shepherd, the servant, the only one worthy. Jesus opened our heavenly bank account by purchasing for us our eternal savings. After realizing this, he teaches us how to add to that savings by living our lives by his commandments. By doing this and seeking his word through the holy scriptures, we then deposit into our heavenly accounts the rewards of eternity, which can never be taken from us. To seek the fruits of the Spirit is to enhance our position in heaven that will last forever. And that's never, ever ending. Eternity is infinite. Put not our ability to save in earthly wares, but rather fulfill our riches in spirit by placing our earnings in the bank of God. The blood of Jesus Christ, the living stone, be with you all. Amen.